Hey there, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome. This is Renee, and this is going to be your reading. Uh, we're going to take a look and see what cards are going to come out for you. And now, Capricorn, if this resonates, like and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. And welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's get some energy for Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus messages for Capricorn. We get some Oracle cards first for your energies. Okay, we have deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Okay. So if you're currently in a relationship, there may be something that's being left unsaid. Um, your partner may have other intentions, you know. Um, they may be holding something back from you. Okay, at the bottom, we have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so try to stay positive in your situation. Okay, Cap? Um, but I kind of feel like if you are in a relationship I feel like they're not being honest about something they're holding something back right okay let's take a look at some more energy for Capricorn we have patience Archangel Jaffiel your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So have patience with your situation, Capricorn. What's done in the dark will come to light, right? Um, so have patience. You may also have uh, a feeling of clairvoyance. You know, you may be seeing things very clearly at the moment. Um, or may you may see signs and synchronicities, something that's giving you visions. Okay, your intuition may be very high at this moment. Okay, this is Archangel Raziel. I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Okay, and now let's get some more energy for. Capricorn. One more, please. One more card, please, for Capricorn. Okay, imagine. Keep your eyes open, right? The number 20. Imagine, you know, you may be all up in your head. Um, we also have It's Time to Go. So you may be moving, you may be traveling, you may be thinking about going on some kind of destination, or <clears throat> you may simply just be leaving a situation to enter a new situation, right? Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get some tarot for Capricorn. <clears throat> What messages do we have for Capricorn, please? Messages for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, all placements. Their current energy. Your current energy is the Empress. Wow. Beautiful, Cap. What's the past energy, please? Past energy. The Six of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Empress, and a Future Energy. <clears throat> okay, so we have the Page of Pentacles, the Four. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, Cap. Okay, so we have in the past energy, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. So,
what I'm getting, Cap, is if you're in a current relationship, I feel like your relationship is very fair. You feel like it's very balanced. It's very giving. Um, and this is something that you may have been in this relationship for a while. Or you just started this new relationship. Right? But you're feeling like this relationship is very fair. If this is a relationship, of course, um, this is something that... I'm really feeling like your mate is kind of leaving left unsaid, okay? There's someone thinking about doing something that you probably don't think is good for your relationship. Okay, if this isn't a relationship, take it where it resonates, right? There's fairness. And there's celebration. Okay. So this could be um, an engagement. This could be a job offer. This could be something that you find very appealing. You know. Um, now your current energy is the Empress. So I feel like you're very attractive. You're very fruitful. Um, you may be manifesting something that you really want. I feel like that's because it's right above this imagine card imagine the possibilities right because the empress she's all about creating something new you know making those possibilities a reality so i feel like this is saying to you that imagine what's possible and set your intentions out there and create it because you're very fruitful. You may be very intuitive right now with, you know, with this patience card, you know, and the clairvoyance. We there there's something that you may be manifesting that you're bringing to life, right? But I feel like you're very attractive. You're very fruitful. You're able to give birth to new ideas and really bring those to life, bring them down to reality, right? So in the near future, we have the Page of Pentacles and the Fool card. So there's definitely some kind of good news coming to you. There's going to be some kind of new beginning that you're going on a venture that you need to take a leap of faith. This is a gamble. You know, you don't really know where this is going to lead you to. But this is good news. This is something very valuable. Someone offering you a gift of value, right? Some kind of stability, some kind of increase is coming your way. Um, so I feel like it's very, it's very happy. This is a good reading. This is a good reading, Capricorn, because, I mean, we have all the cards of fairness balance celebration being fruitful if you are ready to start a family this is the time because you're very fertile to create right so if you're not willing to make a family right now if that's not in your thoughts take precautions okay and we have this good news and this new journey right so, this is a really good reading. Okay, Spirit, let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me more about this Six of Pentacles. Four of Wands energy. Give me more messages. What's a Six of Pentacles, Four of Wands? Messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All placements message for Capricorn okay wow the nine of wands so there's some underlying conflict there's some sneakiness going on here right okay there is a new beginning there is an offer Okay. Well, I feel like someone has their walls up. There may be conflict. 
um, that you have went through. You know, you may be defending some kind of situation, um, raising those walls up, setting your boundaries. But I feel like you're very persistent, right? But Capricorn, there is someone being sneaky. Someone is being sneaky in this, maybe in your relationship or someone close by you. You know, someone kind of wants what you have. This may not necessarily be your mate, your partner, um, but I feel like someone wants what you have, right? They see it as very beautiful, very growing, very prosperous, you know? And they feel kind of envious when it comes to seeing you and your person, okay? If you're not in a current relationship, I feel like this could be um, placed in your life, maybe at work. Maybe someone's trying to take your ideas. Someone's trying to take something away from you. Okay, but we go from the Six of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles. So this is someone who's sharing, who's very fair, to someone who's actually defending something, someone who's actually standing guard, raising up those walls of defenses and ready to fight, right? So I, I feel like something's going on here. And then we end here with the 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 ace of wands so it's like okay we're going from the nine to the ace of wands so this could actually be a ten of wands situation this could be some kind of completion and new beginning um so i feel like whoever has these walls up this could be you capricorn but whoever is setting these high standards these high boundaries I feel like, you know, you're doing that because you feel like something is being taken away from you. Like you're scared that something is going to take away, right? Um, but that's not going to last very long. I feel like your boundaries are coming down and you're seeing things in a totally different light. You're ready to jump on some kind of new inspiration, okay? Um, now with this Four of Wands and the Seven of Swords, there's someone trying to steal your happiness. Someone's trying to steal your celebration. Someone feels very envious of your situation. Maybe you're very popular. Um, maybe people are celebrating you and someone is very jealous. Um, but someone wants to steal something from you. This may be love that someone wants to steal from you. Someone may be talking uh, behind your back to the person that you're dealing with or um, just trying to hit on them, right? Trying to make a pass. But I feel like, you know, you're kind of seeing this as you're, you're coming through this afterwards with an offer. Okay, so this offer is for love or something that you love. You know, that you're taking some sort of action towards something that you love or someone's taking some sort of action towards you, right? Um, but I feel like there's going to be some kind of offer. I feel like there, there's a lot of people jealous of you, Capricorn. They're jealous of maybe who you're with or what you got, your job, your lifestyle. You know, you have people around you that are envious. This could be family. Okay? Um, but I feel like, you know, when I first seen that Imagine card, I felt like, you know, keep your eyes open. There's something that you need to keep your eyes open with. Right? So... Okay, Spirit, tell me about this Page of Pentacles and the Fool card for the future, for the near future energy. Tell me about this Page and this Fool. Okay, here we have the another Page, the Devil. You're standing out.
Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. Wow, two pages, two sevens. You're coming out very strong in this new beginning. Capricorn, um, the devil is your energy. And at the bottom, we have the Four of Pentacles. So I feel like there's something that you're protecting. You're still protecting something, right? But you're looking at something for the long term. You're, you, Capricorn, are a very loyal sign. When you put your heart out there, you are all in or nothing at all, right? You're looking at things for the long term. And that's just how your sign is. Your sign is very loyal, very stable. It really doesn't like change very well, right? Okay, so with the Page of Pentacles, we have the Page of Wands. So it's definitely some kind of good news coming in. It may be good news that you've been waiting for, but I feel like someone's talking, you know. There's some kind of gossip going on. There's something that people are saying, and you're kind of overhearing it. You're overhearing things in the background, right? But I feel like what you're hearing is not bad, right? It's not it's not bad. You're you're just listening. You're observing. You're taking things in. But whatever the these offers are, whatever this communication is. Some may be very kind of immature, but with the Seven of Pentacles energy, you're planting seeds. You're, you're planting the seeds of what you're doing next, right? You may be just dabbling to see what is going to flow. But you're you're growing in this situation. With the the fool, the devil and the 7 of wands. Wow. You know, you're this is a new beginning for you, Capricorn. Definitely a new beginning for you. With the devil coming out, this just signifies that this reading is definitely you. It's all you with this devil card. This represents you. This is your card. So you're standing out very strong. You're you're very powerful in this new beginning. Okay? And I feel like with the Seven of Wands energy, Capricorn... You're taking it all in. You're standing guard. What are you standing guard for? But you're defending something. You're standing up for something that you believe in. You're standing up for maybe your beliefs. Someone that you care about. Something that you desire. You're like standing up for that. You you may feel like you have to stand up to someone. You have to kind of put them in their place. Right? Tell me more about this. Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Why do we have Seven, Seven here? Why do we have Seven, Seven here? <clears throat> The Ten of Pentacles, excuse me, that's the Nine of Pentacles and the Death card in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles is gaining your wealth, gaining your stability. There's a lot of Pentacles here. The 
And the Pentacles are your energy, right? With the Seven of Pentacles to the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you're growing. You may be growing your financing, gro growing your independence. Um, you may be coming out of a time of being alone. You know? Uh, with this Death card in reverse... I feel like something's not changing. Something is kind of being blocked. You know, there's something that is not going to end just yet. It's still going. Tell me about this death card in reverse. Why is the death card in reverse? Because there's a new beginning. You haven't got to an ending yet. You have two cards of new beginnings. This Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. So there's definitely some kind of new beginning. There, This is your... You, you're going to get some money coming to you, Capricorn. This is going to be a beginning of your finances. Your finances are growing. You're becoming more independent. Uh, but there's something that you're not changing. Maybe you're not willing to change. But you do have this, this uh, new beginning regardless. This is increase. This is something being offered to you that's going to bring great increase, great wealth, um, good health, good family. Right? Okay, tell me about this Empress card. Give me more messages for Capricorn. Tell me about the Empress. Yeah, raising a family. That's what you're dreaming of. You're dreaming of being with family. Being with people that you love. Right? Being with people that love you. You are really yearning for that stability of family life. It may be that you're ready to create a family of your own. You're ready to build on to yourself. You know, you're ready to extend yourself out to have a wife, a husband, children, you know. Um, and I feel like you're thinking about this a lot because you're very... I feel like you've been alone for long enough. Now you want something more. That's where this new beginning comes in. Right? So you're wanting more out of life. You're wanting that happy family, that teamwork. You know, being able to collaborate with someone. Okay, let's go ahead and get some advice. I feel like the challenge in this situation is you getting past the ideas that someone wants to take something away from you. That may be jealousy. That may be, you know, the reason why the devil is coming out over here. It could be, you know, old feelings, old pain that you might be holding it onto. Um, but I feel like that's going to be your challenge. Okay. Um, those are the only negative cards that are here actually. Um, I feel like you may be very paranoid that someone's being sneaky. And sometimes we can be paranoid enough until we kind of manifest that sneaky person, right? So be careful what your intentions are. Be careful about your what you're thinking too much about, Capricorn. Um, because sometimes the negative things that we think about, we can actually bring to life, right? So be careful about your thinking. Stay positive. Okay, let's get some advice for Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know? Some advice for Capricorn, please. Okay. So, yeah, we have the King of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords, the Two of Cups in the middle, beautiful, the Knight of Swords, 
and the Six of Wands. So this is going to be very successful. Whatever is coming forward for you is going to bring a lot of stability. Right? Um, I feel like you are able to relax in your situation and just enjoy what's coming. Right? Um, but we have the King of Pentacles. This is also your card, Capricorn. Um, so I feel like, you know, you are the king sitting on your throne. You could be male or female. Um, but I feel like you are finding what makes you happy, you know, finding that stability, you know, being in your power because we have the ace of swords right next to it. I feel like, you know, we have three aces in this reading, three new beginnings. So you're going through cycles, right? The, these are new ideas, new actions, new um, money that you're coming into. You're, you're, this is nothing but increase. Okay? So I feel like with this Ace of Swords energy, some kind of truth is going to come out. You're going to see something for what exactly it is something for what exactly their true intentions are so like i said in the beginning what's done in the dark comes to light right so there, there's something that's going to be very clear but you capricorn are going to be walking away with your love okay so honey your love ain't going nowhere right so whatever this energy is you are holding on to it Okay, so if you're currently in a relationship, there may be something that you're going through at the moment, but you're going to get through it. Okay, it's going to be fine. You're going to definitely get through it. And once it starts flowing, I feel like it's all or nothing. You're willing to go to battle for this person, right? You're willing to stand up and fight. You're willing to... You know, win at all costs. And you do. You're very successful. Whatever you're pursuing is very successful. So I feel like, you know, people are watching you. They're noticing you. They're seeing how you're going about things, Capricorn. And they're like, how is Capricorn doing all this, right? Okay, let's go ahead and get a timeline for Capricorn. Let's get a timeline. What timeline do we have for Capricorn Spirit? When is this coming? Well, <clears throat> the cards want to fly, but they don't want to give me them. Okay. If you've been wondering about this daily, you are in its vibration. Time frame is within a few weeks, right? So if you've been thinking about it a lot, the time is within a few, within a few, a few weeks. I can't even speak. Okay, at the bottom we have two months. So this is going to be happening very quickly. This is going to, I mean, once it starts flowing... It's definitely going to start flowing, right? So let's get some angel cards. What else does Capricorn need to know, please? Message for Capricorn. Message for Capricorn, please. What does Capricorn need to know? Okay. We have astral travel. So you're going to be receiving information. And I feel like, you know, we have dream time soul travel here. So um, you may be getting visions. Like I said, your intuition is very high at this moment. So you may be seeing synchronicities, visions. Um, something is coming to you in your dreams. You may want to start a dream journal. Okay. And we also have... Um, being flexible, being adaptable, being in your personal power, right, Capricorn? And I, I feel like you're exactly where you need to be, okay? Um, 
you are standing in your power. You are standing in your personal power here with the astral travel and the the yellow chakra here, right? Um, being very adaptable, being very flexible is going to help you out. Don't set everything in stone. Be open to change. And I know, Cap, you don't really like change very much, but... You know, you're standing in your power. You're able to adapt to whatever situation that you're in. Okay? So, let's take a look at the Moonology cards for Capricorn. Okay, so we have a fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. And we have a new start is coming. Definitely. We have three aces here. Of course, a new start is coming. You know, you're going to have new beginnings. At the bottom, we have communication is key. So, uh, you may be dealing with a Gemini. You may be dealing with an Aries. We have a lot of signs here. Pisces. Um, we have every sign here, actually. So, let's go ahead and get your angel number, Capricorn. That Two of Cups is really standing out, though. And it's right underneath the Empress. Yeah. All right. Let's get an angel number for Capricorn. Okay, we have zero, zero, zero guidance. You know, I've never actually drawn this number before, so this is very interesting. Okay, we have guidance. You have full support of the divine. The guidance you are seeking is here, and your life is moving in the right direction. This is the start of a new beginning. Where one cycle ends, a new one begins right and your affirmation i trust in the magic of new beginnings i feel the support and the guidance that is all around me okay so i feel like your angels are protecting you you have higher power protection right and we we definitely have these new beginnings here i feel like that message is actually very very um, chosen especially for you right um, now Capricorn if this message resonates please like and subscribe if it doesn't resonate take a look at your other placements they may be you know uh, coming out more clear and until your next reading Capricorn many blessings to you love and light